EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for May 31st, 2023. It is the final day of the month of May, and the Wednesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Mechanical X Advantage. This year, millions of Americans will be eligible for the High Efficiency Electric Home Rebate Act, which offers up to $8,000 in point of sale rebates on any heat pump for home heating and cooling. This means the rebate amount is automatically deducted from the price at the time of sale and there's no need to send in for a refund. With Mechanical X Advantage as your authorized dealer for Mr. Cool's do-it-yourself heat pumps, they can help you upgrade your old heating and cooling system to a more energy efficient and eco-friendly heat pump in 2023. Contact them today to learn about how they can help you take advantage of these incredible savings. Visit their website at mxa-us.com or you can send an email to the email address above me here in the video or call that phone number right there and they will help you to gain an advantage today. They are Mechanical X Advantage, proud sponsors of the Wednesday video forecast. So we're dealing with a mostly sunny day today in the background. Not necessarily mostly sunny though because we're going to be dealing with a lot of haze and, uh, and, and smoke, okay? And this is all stemming from wildfires that are in Nova Scotia, which is off the screen here. It's over here, uh, southeastern Canada, but you're going to get a you're going to get a, a from a northeast and then eventually easterly flow that's going to bring it into parts of our region today. Okay, so in the uh, high resolution rapid refresh is actually showing this being near the ground. Okay, instead of the wildfires that we've had, we've had smoke from wildfires already this month or earlier in the month uh, coming from western Canada, not eastern, but uh, that was uh, elevated haze uh, so we just dimmed the sun a little bit this is going to be near the ground we think a lot closer to the ground anyway and uh, at the same time we have this system here uh, which is the system that lurked over the southeastern united states this weekend could have some clouds associated with that near the shore points eastern shore of maryland delaware and uh, parts of south jersey until this pulls away but this will be pulling off in this direction today and getting weaker okay but the majority of us are mostly sunny today with that smoke and haze and we can see that here on the high resolution rapid refresh this is an eight eight meters above ground smoke density uh measurement okay so this is uh the unit of, unit of measurement here is micrograms per cubic meter that's what all these numbers re represent but this is where it is uh most dense in these uh fancy like uh pinkish colors here pinkish purplish colors so this is this morning, and then just go throughout the day. It's pretty much going to be hanging over these same areas across New Jersey, southeastern PA, eastern, east central Pennsylvania. And then as we get later in the day, it starts swinging off to the north, okay? And it gets up in the northern areas before midnight. And then after that, uh, it's pretty much negligible after that point. So it's pretty much a today thing as she started last night. And uh, we will have uh, that, that, again, eight meters above ground. That's only like 35 feet. It's not much, okay? So this is probably going to be near the surface. You're probably going to be able to smell it. Uh, and if you have uh, asthma, COPD, that kind of thing, um, you know, sensitive groups should be taking care of today. If you're doing any activities outside, it's going to be more difficult to breathe than normal because of that. Uh, but uh, after that, I think we're going to be okay here for Thursday. Mostly sunny skies. Temperatures are going to increase today it's, uh, for most areas. The cooler areas are going to be near the shore, eastern area, shore points. We see that 71 is down by Atlantic City. The 85 is actually in our nor far northern areas like Wilkesbury. Okay, and the same thing's going to be true here on uh, Thursday. We're 78 closer to the shore points, 92 in Wilkes-Barre here on uh, Thursday. So it's going to be a uh, first shot in 90s for them, but elsewhere generally most of us are going to be in the uh, upper 80s for the most part here on Thursday with mostly sunny skies. But then I think you have widespread on Friday, widespread uh, temperatures in the 90s, lower 90s at least, uh, with sunny to partly cloudy skies here on Friday. Now this up to the north is a backdoor cold front okay it's going to be sagging down from new england and coming down in this direction it will come through over the weekend so i think it's coming through on saturday there the question is how much precipitation we're going to have with this and i'm leaning toward less because most of the ensembles are less and it's the old adage that you know like i said if it's uh you know one pattern begets the next if it, it, it's history repeats itself almost we're, we're in a dry pattern so why would we think this is going to overperform you know it, it kind of follows the same general pattern that we've been in for a while so there's no reason to believe that it's going to be anything beneficial so most models have backed off to not really that beneficial but a european model does bring this through here on saturday with some shower activity not a lot but some okay as that backdoor front moves through and uh, you can see the back door front coming through. Here's the very warm temperatures here on Friday. As we get to Saturday and Sunday, here, look what this does. Here's the back door front. You get cooler temperatures coming in for Saturday and Sunday over the weekend. Now, when I say cooler, I'm talking about like 
75, 76, 78, something like that. Okay, so not going to be cold, but certainly not 92, right? Where the big difference here in temperatures. GFS pretty much doing the same thing. Looks great here overnight, Friday night, but then when it comes in on Saturday, it just pff, craps out. Unfortunately, because we need the rain. We need every little bit. We'll, we'll take what we can get, but, uh, you know, if it's if it's next to nothing, it's not really going to be very, that helpful. Uh, and that's just... Uh, Ticket people off on Saturday that you get a couple drops and that's it. And, you know, you're ruining a potential day of outdoor activities, uh, you know, just from it being cloudy from the, just from that standpoint. I do think you're going to get something from this, but just don't expect too much right now is where I'm getting at with this. Uh, it doesn't look like a whole lot. Uh, and then it gets cooler over the weekend in the wake of this, but it does go to partly cloudy skies here on Sunday, mostly sunny here on Monday. And then we have a weak front coming through on, again. For, uh, this is Monday night. And then another backdoor front. Moving through, when I say backdoor front, instead of it just means that your traditional cold front, you have you know low pressure here, whatever, it is moving in this direction. This is a normal cold front that we would expect. That is not going to be the case. This is dropping down from the north in this direction, is bringing the colder air. This is called a backdoor cold front when you had existing warm temperatures in there prior, like we'll have on Monday during the day ahead of this. But then Tuesday, we get cooler as that front moves through, and uh, we'll have this uh, have a couple of these to deal with this week. So hopefully. You know, eventually one of these systems maybe cuts us a break and comes over us and gives us some rain. But I just wouldn't expect a whole lot from Saturday. But there could be some light intermittent showers uh, to deal with on Saturday. When we get later in the week and we have the NAM in range, well, we'll have a little bit more clarity of what we're dealing with. I just don't expect it to be a whole lot right now, unfortunately, which I have better news for you because I know the vast majority of you feel that we, even if it's on the weekend, we need rain. And I did that informal Twitter poll uh, a couple days ago, and it was overwhelming I mean, some of you are like, no, I don't want to rain anyway. I don't care. But, you know, uh, most sensible people have said, I'll sacrifice a weekend gladly if we can get some rain because we def desperately need it for the pollen, for the plants, for the vegetation, for the grass, whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, hopefully one of these systems will, will hook us up. But I really feel that once we get past uh, mid-month of June, I think it's going to be relatively dry for the first two weeks of June. After that, we have a better shot in the second half of June to at least be near average precipitation, which is better than what we've been in lately. I'm EPA, WA Meteorologist Bobby Marcus. That is your outlook for May 31st, 2023. Have a great Wednesday.